This is vividly on 1955 D. Roosevelt Time in Mid State 68 comes with full bands designation, which is given to those dimes that have fully struck torch bands on the reverse. Well blended toning in copper rose, powder blue and pale gold colors blankets both sides. The underlying luster is fully vibrant and the surfaces are smooth and pristine as the day the coin emerged from the press. It ended up selling for $7,762.50. Here is 1964 Roosevelt Dime from Special Mint Set, graded as SP66 by PCGS, a razor shop set and finish premium gem example of the 1964 SMS Dime. Special Mint Sets were issued in place of approved sets from 1965 to 1967. However, in 1990s, a number of 5 coin sets from 1964 surfaced with similar finishes. All coins from these sets are rare. This premium gem SMS dime displays razor sharp detail and a dusting of champagne lavender toning with no surface abrasions. I appeal is outstanding. It ended up selling for $10,200 in 2019. Another attractively toned Roosevelt dime 1949 10 cent in MS68 condition also with full bands. This is a formidable rarity for the Roosevelt collector. The obverse is painted in rich bands of colorful iridescence that intensify at the right border, showing a blend of teal, violet, and magenta hues. The reverse remains virtually brilliant, save for a slight dusting of olive patina visible under scrutiny. Perfectly executed and essentially untouched, the present piece simply cannot be improved upon. It was sold for $13,200 at auction. Moving on, with this 1965 Roosevelt time struck on a leftover silver planchet from 1964, graded as MS62 by PCGS, bright silver with trace of toning on the lower reverse and lustrous throughout. While seemingly innocuous, this has all the usual appearance of typical silver Roosevelt time. But the date of 1965 is when the clad sandwich metal coinage began. There are few of these known of metal old planchet strikings, but very few, especially mint state, as these would easily have slipped into circulation unnoticed as silver coins dominated the coins in circulation for a few years after the clad coins were launched in 1965. Similar in error to the famed 1943 copper cents, where a handful of leftover planchets were struck in the hopper, and when the coinage began in the new year slipped into the production unnoticed. This elusive example ended up selling for $16,450. And this is 1968 Roosevelt Dime with missing mint mark S. The 1968 No S proof dime is one of the rarest modern mint issues. 1968 saw the first year of proof struck at the San Francisco Mint and a very limited but unknown number of proof dimes made it into sets without S mint mark. These clearly were not struck with the same care to create deeply contrasted examples as they were in later years. This Proof 68 Ultra Cameo Gem is truly an amazing example with bold deep highly reflective mirrors that glimmer and beam from the fields. The devices stand out boldly in full frosted reliefs defining the Ultra Cameo designation. Flawless and high-end, this is a truly magnificent example of this modern classic. It was sold for $47,000. Thank you for joining us on this numismatic adventure. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe to our channel for more exciting coin-related content. Happy collecting!